right, guys, I'm out here in Santa Monica getting ready for this session, trying to get some halibut going today. Today, it's all about getting some halibut going. I'm going to be fishing some lugworms, Carolina rig, Sunset. and set. So here we go, guys. Let's do this halibut time. Is there a in the one there? Oh, that's a good one. There he is. There he is. All right, guys, I'm down on the beach. Conditions look really good from the cars they usually do. We're at low tide. It's a zero. It's a zero tide, so it's uh, you know all the way out. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of look around in here in these holes. Um, and you know, conditions look good from the car as they always do. So let's see what happens uh, now that we're out here. Well, there we go guys, that didn't take long. First cast, just literally as soon as the, the bait hit the water, first halibut of the year. Not a keeper, but a good one to get started on. Let's get it back in the water and let's see if we can get some bigger ones. All right, let's do this. Big hole right here. As you can see, we've got some breakers here, breakers behind it in the middle, a nice green tube of deeper water, and that's what I'm looking for. So let's, oh shit. There's all kinds of little holes here too. We gotta watch out not to step in one, but this looks very promising. So I'm gonna, oh, that looks beautiful. I'm gonna plop that out there, see what gives. This is a bigger hole, and I'm gonna fish it probably oh, a few casts at least. All right, here we go. There we go, there's a tap there. There's a tap there, there's offerings. Those might not be halibut, there's just, there might just be fish over here in general. There we go. Feels more like a perch. There we go. No, oh, I'm not into something there. Feels little though. Feels more like a croaker. Something small, but that's good. You know, just the sign of any fish is always good. Oh, it feels like a perch, maybe even. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Oh yeah, a little bard. Get him back in the water here. Let's get on to bigger emitters. Nothing wrong with that. All right, see you later. Okay, just gotta keep going here. Bait it up, ready to go. Right over this little rolling wave. Okay, let's see what else is out here. I mean, hopefully there's not too many small fish. There's definitely, definitely a good spot. So hopefully there's some halibut hanging out here. Let's see if we can drum one up here. Definitely didn't come out to catch four ounce perch on 10 pound test. I want to get some big fish, so let's see if we can get going here. Big hole. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh that might have been it. Yeah, there he is. There he is. He tracked me. That's a big halibut. Oh, sure. I got lost him again. Shoot. He's tracking me again. There he is. There he is. There he is. Okay. He's stuck with me. There's a lot of fish over here. All right. There, that's a big one. That's a big one. He stuck with me and he tracked me. He hit that three times. Three times. All right. This, this is a larger fish. This is a larger fish. Okay, I got one here, guys. Okay. He ain't giving in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Damn, this thing ain't moving. Am I snagged? What the hell happened? Shoot. I lost it. I don't know what the hell that was. Woo! Oh, man. Did he take my hook? Oh, didn't lose the hook. Holy cow. That was a big fish. Holy cow, that was a big fish. Damn it. I hit that three times and then he must have burrowed down into something and I couldn't pull him out. Whoa, 
Oh my god, I'm like shaking here. Holy crap. That, oh. Ugh. That was, that was something there. Quick halibut tip. Now, I'm not a professional, but uh, I'm going to tell you a couple things that I've observed about halibut. They are just like any other predatory fish that you catch in the surf, okay? They are uh, efficient, opportunistic feeders, and they hang out in deep, you know, holes where the water's moving slow, where they don't have to expend a lot of energy to just, you know, to hold in there. And when they get a chance to attack, they attack, man. And uh, also, they, even though they're on the bottom, doesn't mean that they stay there all the time. They will swim after your bait, they will attack it, and if you get one hit, be patient. They'll come back for it, okay? So, um, that's, uh, c those are a couple things that have helped me when I'm out here. All right, so put that to use. All right, one more cast with this. I'm gonna switch over to bigger rig. There we go, there we go, oh yeah. That is a big fish, Jesus. God, what is he doing? Am I snag? I can't even tell. That's a snag, must be. Shit, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on over here. I gotta switch to a different rig. My hook's getting caught on something out there. It must be rocks. This is freaky. All right, lost my leader on that. No worries. All right, guys, here we go. I'm, I need bigger hooks for what I'm fishing for right now is what I've actually come up with because I keep hooking these fish up and losing them. And I just don't have it. But the sea rig is what's working. The way that the, uh, I'm kind of just pulling the sinker and the hook into these holes and ridges and it really finds every little nook and cranny and that's what's so good about the, the, uh, fishing this. The only problem is I'm hooking up bigger fish but I can't keep the hook in them out, it's too small. So, kind of just caught between a rock and a hard place at the moment, I gotta do my best. So let's uh, see what happens here. Oh, that's some good cloud cover. God, the conditions are just really nice. Oh, fuck. But it doesn't mean I can't get one. I just gotta be kind of aggressive, I guess. There we go, I'm into something there. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. I gotta stay on him too, because I, if he goes down, there he is. I'm pulling him in basically. I see him on top of the water. I got to keep him out of the bottom because I've already lost two fish to the bottom. So I'm just jerking this thing in here and it, it's not huge. But there we go. I pulled him clear out of the water over there because I can't have him going down. There he is fighting hard. Definitely a halibut. There he is. He's walking him back. Oh, it's not a halibut. Oh, it's a corbina. <laughs> well, I'll take it, man. That's a decent Corbina. Gotta love it. Oh man, well that's, I'll take that anytime. It's a skinny one, but it's probably about 15 inches. It's a good one. All right, first Corb of the year. Let's go out there and get some more. Here we go. All right guys, I'm back at the car. Just taking a little bit of a break here. Had, uh, you know, some good action when I first got down here at the low tide, but now that the water's moving in, the conditions have changed. The water's moving faster, it's churned up. And even though I had some really nice structure and holes there for a second, it shifted within the matter of about 10 minutes and uh, it wasn't as good. So I'm gonna charge my batteries a little bit here and I'm gonna wait for the tide to come in a little bit and for the beach to reset itself and I'm gonna get back out there and see what I can do uh, at this uh, you know, the sundown bite. So here we go, guys. Uh, Check back in with you in a little bit. All right, bit. guys, I'm back at it again. I'm, this is my second day in a row fishing this area. I had some great action yesterday, and I really wasn't prepared for it. I'm prepared now. The only problem is that I'm not really getting the conditions. Uh, it's a little bit rough out here, but I think that there'll be an hour window from right before high tide to right after high tide where I, I, can, I can maybe make something happen. So. I'm going for it. I want my uh, season's first keeper size halibut. That's the goal for the day. So I'm going to get out there. Let's do this. All right. It's a little rough out there, but I think it's fishable. Um, 
I got probably an hour and a half window. See if we can really get something going here. Okay, there we go. Into something right away. First cast, that's good. Oh yeah, it's pulling hard. I don't know what that is exactly. But that's always a good sign. First cast. Same thing as yesterday, first cast action. Okay. Yeah, this has uh, got a little weight to it. That's good. There we go. Pulling hard, I love that. Okay. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Got to pick up where I left off. I really, really kind of could have done way better yesterday. Okay. Right into a big perch to start the day off. Got to love that. Okay. That wasn't exactly what I was expecting. Not what I'm targeting. Nice chunky perch to get the day started off. Hopefully uh, there's some halibut out there. All right, here we go. First cast, gotta love it. Right in the lips. Second cast, that hit like right on contact. So I'm just gonna flip this back out there. Okay. Well, this is kind of a deep one, but we'll see what happens. See if they're out there. There we go. There we go. That's got some size to it. Feels like a fish and not a shark. That's good. Oh yeah, it feels like it could be a definite halibut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Easy does it now. Don't screw it up. There we go. There we go. Gotta keep them rolling in. I don't want to get snagged. Oh yeah. It's got a good feel to it, no matter what it is. Sizable. Nice bend in that rod there. Rolling it right in. This has got to be a halley. Yeah, I think it is. Oh yeah. Could be the first keepy. Oh yeah, it's getting there. Oh boy. Or oh, is that a big cor- Oh, that's a halley. Oh yeah. Woo! There it is. Just what we came out here for. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. I knew they were here, and we got them. There we go, guys. First keeper, Howie of the year. Gonna go get him back in the water. Go, go get a bigger one, hopefully. All right, here we go. There it is, right in there. Very nice. There we go, there we go, yep. Into him. Oh, that's a good one, that feels like another halibut. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, fighting good. Got him in the wave there. Woo! So he's running to the side, using the current. Oh yeah, he ain't done yet though. Right at low tide, oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, another nice one. Yeah, there he is. Woo! Oh shit! He hooked him right there. Ah, that is. That was easy. All right, guys. There we go. Second one of the day. This one's a little short, close to about 18 inches or so. And it needs a few more to be legal, but uh, it's still a fun catch nonetheless. Let's get him back in the water. Oh yeah. All right, guys, first keeper size halibut of the year in the books. Good times, guys. Special shout out to uh, Ken Gant over at Shoreline Fishing right here, guys, using these lugworms, man. The last few batches have been so incredibly healthy and uh, lively, and they've stayed good all day. And of course, valley fishing and tackle, guys. Thanks as always. Good times. Hopefully, we see you soon. And um, yeah, till next time.